All right, so this is what I call fog lights. Let's get our little switch down here. So guys, this is a bittersweet video. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be a little upset because of the news you're about to hear. But I have to be open. I have to be honest with you guys. I have to, you know, tell you the reasoning behind. And I know a lot of guys won't understand while a lot might understand. Um, and it's the simple fact that we sold the Mustang. So it is gone. Um, I'm not sure if I still have any videos to still upload on this channel of it. I'm sure I do, and I'm sure I'll edit videos that I've recorded and, you know, that you guys probably have never seen and stuff, but officially the Mustang is gone, and, you know, sold it yesterday, I woke up yesterday, was working so hard at my business, and decided, you know, the car needed inspected, so I had it scheduled for our local Ford dealership to inspect the car, um, you know, because every year... Obviously, in our state, you have to inspect your vehicle. Um, so I went out, cleaned the car out, was, you know, working on it, went for a drive around the block. And, you know, I looked at the odometer and I drove it less than 1,500 miles yet again. Uh, in fact, I had actually driven it less than 5,000 miles since I bought it in 2018. So, which is just crazy. And I have been wanting to just own one vehicle to simplify things and kind of have one vehicle as the toy, the daily driver and everything. So one vehicle as a toy, as a daily driver, um, and not deal with two. Um, and that, that's been on my mind for over a year. And I just never really acted on it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just, let's just post the car for sale for a good price. Either, you know, with all my parts or just for the car. So I posted the car for sale with two different prices. Instantly, I had 10 plus messages from people saying, oh, I'll give you, I'll give you 500 more for it or, or this and that. And a lot of, spam people so I just started blocking people because you know I probably probably a lot of them were real I just didn't you know they just seem fake so I ended up blocking this one person and then their wife messaged me on uh messaged me on Facebook and asked about it and then I realized oh maybe that person wasn't fake because you know you just never know these days. So I said, yes, it is. And basically 40 minutes later, the guy came out, really nice guy, um, Christian, you know, just a really nice guy and came out, you know, talked about it, test, you know, we went for a test drive and everything. And, you know, he made an offer and I basically said, no, uh, I'll sell it to you for $400 less than what you offered. <laughs> a lot of people out there might be thinking, wait, 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 hold on. He made an offer and then you said you'll take 400 less. What's wrong with you? You know, I selling it is, has not, it, it wasn't about money. Um, so I gave him a really good deal. Even the even my asking prices were really good deal for this market. I mean, we're talking my asking price, um, I was offered $1,500 from multiple people more than my asking price uh, because they said, that, you know, we w we'll give you $1,500 more. We'll come take it now. You know, you know, those kind of people. And I, I, I shrugged it off, um, you know, and this guy was nice, good reasoning behind everything. And I believe that what you do in life comes back around tenfolds and, you know, I, Again, it wasn't about the money, um, obviously, because after everything, I think I added it up. It's like with what? So I I paid sixty nine hundred, I believe, back in twenty eighteen. Let's just say I sold it for. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna say. So I'm not gonna say, 
say any prices or anything. But let's put it this way. I, I put, um, with my purchase price of the car included, close to $30,000 into the car. But, it, you know, building stuff for me is never about money. None of that's ever about money. So I, you know, I just, I, I wanted to focus on my business. I wanted to focus on everything. And I didn't want to leave the car sit. Someone should deserve to drive it and enjoy it. So that's why I sold it. And I sold it for even cheaper because of the character behind the person. Um, because character means everything to me. I could, you know, money, money will come and go. You know, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be poor. There's going to be times where I'm stressed. There's going to be times where I have plenty, you know, and money, it just comes and goes, you know, but kindness and giving people deals and stuff, you know, that's what matters in the end. You know, <laughs> the money that we accumulate doesn't matter. Um, so, so, you know, um, basically the money that I got is going towards vacation for my wife and I. So my wife and I will be married five years, uh, this year. And so I basically, I basically just took the price of what our vacation would be and just gave it to him. You know, that's, yeah, you know, it, he, it paid the Mustang paid for our vacation. And, you know, with all that said and done, it was, it was a fun ride. It was a fun build. You know, it was my first Ford sports car that I've ever built. Um, and had, you know, modded out and stuff, you know, we, we broke the mold on so many stuff, like with the idle chop mod, you know, I am so proud to say, you know, coming up with that and, you know, then the push button and so much other stuff with it. Now it paves the way for other people to have fun and enjoy that. Um, and you know, I, you know, what, what can I tell you about the future of this channel? You know, I, I didn't plan on selling it yesterday, literally 15 minutes. I, I just posted it. And 15 minutes later, this guy contacted me and it, and that's, was it, you know, that was it 15, 15 minutes, you know? Um, and, but I feel relieved of course, this Mustang build was my most favorite build out of all my builds and the most money I've put in any build out of all my builds. But, you know, there's sometimes you just have to let go to move forward. And as a lot of you guys know, I started my own business a year ago. I'm, I'm trying, I'm working so hard, you know, putting 15 hours a day, just trying everything, doing my best to get ahead. And all my focus now needs to be on one thing. You know, and I would, you know, as far as the future of the channel, I'm thinking, um, you know, the next thing I buy will be when the vehicle market crashes because it's going to crash. People are going to get hurt because there's going to be a lot of hard times coming. I think 2023 is going to be a very bad year for a lot of people. So when that comes, I will probably, um, you know, I, I would love a Bronco, you know, a new Bronco. Um, and again, just one vehicle right now we have 98 Ford Explorer, which I have no problem driving. It's just sunroof leaks. It's rusting. The doors lock sometimes and don't lock. Um, it's just, you know, the rear hatch is, it's sometimes you can use a unlock button or most times you got to put the key in and it's just, you know, if it wasn't for those little annoying stuff and the radio sometimes coming on and off, it's just that kind of stuff. You know, it's a 1998, it runs and drives fine and I will run it until the market is low enough to where I'm comfortable spending money for something newer. Um, and I'd like to get something newer, a Bronco, a Jeep, a lifted step side truck, you know, something along that line, I think. And then that be my toy and that be, you know, because I, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, when you start focusing on your future, you change, you really do change. And you know, I really changed in the last year. Now I'm future oriented 
And I thought to myself, I'm 32 years old. Do I have to have a Mustang that I barely drive sitting, collecting dust right now? Do I have to? No, I don't. Does it make sense to have it? No, it doesn't. Why would I keep it? Well, just to have something to drive once in a while and to look at. Well, that doesn't make any sense at this point in my life. If I sell it for a little bit of money, that's great. It'll pay for my wife's vacation, you know, our vacation for our five-year wedding anniversary. That's money that I don't have to set aside or take out of my business that I can keep in my business now. Um, and I thought about, you know what? Life is about choices that we make. We we'll save money on insurance, save money on future inspections, you know, save money, even though the Mustang never took anything for inspection. The only thing it took was um, when I bought the head, the rear taillights, they were am amber color and Ford wouldn't, you know, Ford said they had to be red. So swapped it out for red lights, LEDs. Um, so that's all the Mustang has ever taken for inspection. And, and, and that's because I drove it well since I've owned it like 5,000 miles since 2018, which is just crazy. It's like, come on, you know, now I'm so business oriented and focused. Why would I just leave it sit? You know, I can now focus. There will come a time when I can build a two car garage and have maybe a Hellcat and a nice SUV and then call it a day. But now I'm hammering out all my money's going back into my business, building my business, trying to get ahead. And I don't need a toy. And, you know, I think it comes down with age as well and maturity. Like, I mean, not always age because, oh, there's guys that I know that are 40 and 50 that are so immature when it comes to stuff. It's like, but my goal was three years ago, our goal, my wife and I, to get debt free, pay off all our debts, pay off our house and get ahead in life. So we can retire at a very young age and we can enjoy life, go on vacations, trips, events, and just enjoy life. And I thank God that I, well, that he snapped me out of the path that I used to be on. I'm telling you guys, I've owned 15 vehicles in my lifetime, 15 by the age of 32. That's quite a few <laughs> vehicles. Um, and I've been driving since 16 and a half. So take 16 and a half to 32. Then, you know, take those years and then divide the, the 15 vehicles by those years. I've had a, quite a few vehicles in those years. I don't regret any of it. Everything led me to where I am. And I'm just glad that I didn't stay on that path because now when I'm 40, when I'm 50, debt free, don't owe anybody nothing. Then I could buy vehicles outright, enjoy life, you know, have passive income to just have fun and, you know, don't always live for the moment. You know, we live in a generation where live for the moment, live for the moment, YOLO, YOLO, buy car parts, put it on your credit card. Oh, let's see, you get paid, you know... I can't wait to buy this car part when I get paid. Guys, I'm telling you, if you are younger than me right now, your future could be so crazy, man. You could have such an amazing future if you are just willing to be smart now. I'm telling you guys, you don't have to mod your vehicle right now. You don't have to go in debt. It doesn't matter what job you have. It the job doesn't matter. What you get paid an hour does not matter. It's what you do with what you get paid. And there's so many young guys on my channel that if you are still listening, that if you would just say, you know what? I'm going to spend all my 20s until I'm 30, 35, and I'm just going to save. I got this car I have now. I'm just going to drive it. I'm not going to mod it. I'm just going to stop. I'm going to focus on paying any debts that I have. And then I'm going to focus on trying to save up a big down payment for a house. And then I'm going to focus on trying to pay that house off as fast as I can while taking extra hours, working overtime, working as hard as I can. Because you know what? If you're 20 and you work, take every hour of overtime you can until you're 35. Oh my gosh. And you refuse to go into debt. Oh my word. You guys don't understand. 
how your life would be changed forever. You know, you know, I, I wish I could just reach out to all the younger people and be like, hey, man. You know, I, I started doing this 30, uh, yeah, 30 years ago. Yeah, when I was two years old, I started thinking. No, three years ago, I started seeking the knowledge. I'm telling you guys, seek the knowledge and then apply the knowledge. You don't need college. You don't need to go to college to make a lot of money. You don't even need to graduate high school. I do recommend everyone graduating high school, even though I dropped out. I do recommend everyone you know, going to high school. Um, but college is not needed. And if you have to go to college, you don't got to go to the most expensive college. You can do community college. You're going to learn so much. If you do community college and work during the day, so you do courses, find a community college where you can do courses or you can do, you know, at nighttime, you work hard during the day, do your courses at night for whatever field you want to be in. Just, I'm telling you guys, your future if I would have smacked myself in the face when I was 20 years old and got myself together instead of getting myself together three years ago, I could be leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds. I'm, you know, my wife and I are still leaps and bounds above people our age, but I'm telling you guys, smart, you know, I, I created a channel where that I'm talking about money and just stuff that I'm doing. Uh, it's called... <laughs> I just created it. Sorry, guys. I should know the name of my own channel. It is called All Things Money with Scott Wanger. Um, I created the channel and basically talking about all things money, all things crypto, all things whatever I'm doing, trying to get ahead. And I created that channel to try and help other people get ideas. So with that being said, you know, I don't know the future of this channel. I have tons and tons of car videos that that I'm editing and working on. So this channel is not going to just all of a sudden be forgot about. You know, videos are going to come of past projects I worked on. I'm sure there's some more Mustang videos I have in all the car, all things car related, going to car shows and just other stuff. So this channel is not dead. Um, it's always going to be around and I'm always going to upload content. It's just the Mustang, you know, that's the end of the road for the little uh, 4.0. And you know what? I can't wait to see where the future leads me now. You know, I, I with my business, with my my marriage and everything, I just can't wait. And, oh man, guys, the future is bright no matter where you come from. The future is bright no matter what you say or do. Your future is bright, but it's up to you. Don't put your future in the hands of someone else. Put your future in the hands of yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and say, you're worth it. I'm worth it. I know my worth. And, you know, my worth is founded in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. He's got me to where I am. And without him, I wouldn't be where I am. And I understand a lot of you guys are young. You don't really care about, you know, you view it as all oh, it's religion. When really, when you get down to it, following Jesus has nothing to do with religion. Religion is a man-made thing um, and has been manipulated and and sadly stolen a lot of money and lied to a lot of people. It's not religion following Jesus. Um, it's a personal thing. You follow by faith and by his grace. And I'm telling you guys, if anyone's a testament of what he can do, you got to just look at me. But it's not just some free ride where you think, oh, okay, I'm going to follow this Jesus person and life's going to be easy. No, no. And in fact, how you know that it, he's real, how you know that it's all real, is that when you start following Jesus, the devil comes after you in different ways. He uses other people. And that's how you know Jesus is real. Because when you turn to Jesus and you fight hard to follow Jesus, things are not always easy. Oh, there's times where they are, but things seem to get a little harder because the devil tries a little harder on the things to get you. If he goes through your girlfriend or your wife or, you know, your spouse, your husband, you know, whatever things, your boss, I'm telling you, the devil will try all kinds of stuff. And that proves that Jesus is real and gives me even more motivation. You see, when trolls come my way and attack me, it just gives me more motivation to know I'm glad I'm not like them. It just shows. So guys, so much 
to look forward to in my future and the future of this channel and all my other channels.